Yeah. That way you can be on this side and then you have them. It's laugh. Oh, there we go. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Bagash. Also, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you brothers out there. All right, um, you know, it's just another week that we're out here. You know, just prophesying for us, you know, the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Shai. Okay, and basically, if you're not down with the program, you're just going to get put to death, man. Right. Right. There, there is no and ifs or buts, okay? You're not going to, you know, plead your, you know, your cause. Look, the Lord's going to judge you on what you've done before his return, okay? And look, the majority of these people, all they've been, you know, putting in to the pot, all right, so to speak, is a, a wickedness, you know? These people commit adultery. They're sodomites. That's right. All right, they're murderers, thieves, liars, you know, so on and so forth. So the Lord's going to judge them according to uh, uh, those works, right. you know, and we're hoping that the Lord focuses on our uh, offerings, all right, which yeah. is what? Charity, uh, 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 you know, love, you know, to one to another, uh, 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 um, what else, uh, us repenting, turning from our wickedness. So we're hoping that the Lord focuses on that, okay, because hey, we're all sinners here. No one's perfect, all right, but I'll say this difference between us and the majority of these people is that we're actually trying That's right you know uh, yeah trying to serve your house by shim al and put on for the new jerusalem what right. has a nigga done for your house by shim al right. nothing a nigga never even fixed his man to think to to do something to, to magnify or serve the name of your house by shim al man That's right straight up man okay, right. Just, 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 just through go on and revolt it man go on backwards yeah i gotta quit yep. this is the book of isaiah Chapter 66 and verse 15. For behold, Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. That word uh, plead goes into a uh, judging. It's shapat in the Hebrew. That's right. Okay. So that's how the Lord is going to judge you all, okay? Hey, with the, uh, the, that sword, flames of fire, okay? You, you are all going to get a terrible judgment. And the reason why is because you got the men of the Lord out here, all right, teaching week in, week out, day in, day out, that's right. okay? There's truth, and you constantly push the, 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 the hand of the Lord away, okay? You see? This is why when all hell breaks loose, you're not going to get mercy, which is a beautiful thing, man, because look, majority of our people all they want to do is you know uh, 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 you know drink and do drugs i mean look at all these mexicans you know getting wild you know what i'm saying this weekend for so-called mexican yeah, independence right. all right day what are you independent from yeah well what are you free from look yeah. i guarantee you the majority of you, you, you hey, of the men you're gonna have to go to a construction site all right monday uh, uh, uh morning yeah all right hey you know the funny thing is that's when the actual quote unquote Mexican Independence Day is though. That's right. On the 16th. That's right. Okay? So you still gotta go serve your match. Cause look, if you don't go to that job, you could get fired. Yeah. Or you're gonna get um uh, uh your pay's gonna get hit. Yeah. You know? And now you gotta, you know, uh, deal with that. That's right. You're not free from anything. You don't own anything and look, because uh, you'll have these uh, these stupid uh coloreds, <laughs> okay? These stupid coloreds out here. <laughs> they'll say, oh these Mexicans and these Venezuelans and these Puerto Ricans, they got this, that, and the third. They got their own government. That's not true. Look, a, a Jewish person runs Mexico right now. That's right. All right? That's right. Her, her last name, if, it, yeah, and I believe the, her last name is like Tenenbaum, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> That's Jewish as all hell, man. I wonder how you say that okay? with a Mexican accent. Exactly, bro. <laughs> so that, that's a false um, you know, statement. Because, uh, you know, the tribes, they got an evil eye towards each other. They always point uh, fingers at each other. Well, look at them, look at this, look at that. Look, how about you look at your true enemy, which is the so-called white man, Esau Edom. Why don't you right. go point the finger at him? Talk right. about all the bullshit he's doing. But see, we understand that you're afraid of him. 
right. okay? You're scared. That's right. That's why you don't talk about them, all right? That's right. You know? And because, hey, if I talk about my daddy, now my <laughs> goods are going to be taken away. That's right. Bro. You got a bitch-ass mentality, man. That's it. That's it, man. And look, hey, I'll say this. Esau, even so-called white man, he's going to come down and put a foot in your ass. He don't give a fuck That's if right. you're bending the knee, okay? Willingly. That's right. This dude's going to fuck you up. That's right. I got one for you. Uh, Hosea 4 and 1 it reads. That's here's the word I have for you. You got it? Oh, you want no, it? No, no, no. You got it. Uh, here, uh, Hosea 4 and 1 it reads. Hear the words of the Lord Yahweh, ye children of Israel. For the Lord Yahweh has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High God in the land. It's like the elder brother was going into. There's this. That's all you, you Jakes do out here is commit folly, man, and yeah. go against everything the Lord says. And then first thing you do is what put a fucking uh, cross on your neck and you go run in these churches and stuff and you, yep. you you say you love and like the Lord, man, but you don't. You, you're a hypocrite. You follow after your daddy, like he said. Right. The, the so-called self-proclaimed white man, man. Esau Edom, the one that's destroying this world and this this, this earth totally, man. And that's why they get right? they, so wrapped up in that Jesus name, man. They call on that name that they just white dead. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's witchcraft in your head every time you think. Every that's time right. you see that name, yeah. it, it, I had to burn that. It was hard yeah. for me to burn that thing out of my head because every time I thought about you seeing it, reading the scriptures even, oh. even you know, yeah, yeah, you yeah. see that name in the book all often, right? And that's why the Proverbs uh, 30 and 4 says what? What is his name and what is his son's name? If yeah. thou can tell. Yeah. But you damn dummies, you see the book, you see his name on it. Why is the Lord saying that? He's telling you that that's not his name, man. Uh -huh. If thou can tell. And what's funny is it's because that name is real demonic. That's it right. literally means earth pig, man. You invoking right. that. Right. You invoking that. Swine, bro. The earth pig demon. You know, uh, hey, but see, I'll say this. The reason why I brought that up is you're all swine. Yeah. Okay? Rolling all all, all, the, all the, exactly. Yeah, you, you roll, roll around in filth. That's Jake. Okay? You, hey. you, you don't want to cleanse yourself because look, this, this word is supposed to cleanse you. That's right. Okay? Make you whole. Make you actually um, a, a, a living soul, living person. She's saying, Peter, hey, the brute beast made to be uh, uh, made to be destroyed, man. That's right. All right. Uh, and our people, because look, that word, it's funny, that word beast, it goes into the word, uh, one of the definitions is savage. Our people love calling themselves what now? Savage. Savage. So you're gonna get put down like a a, 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 a brute beast, a savage animal, yeah. okay? Because look, you can't be uh, uh, rehabilitated. That's right. So since you can't be rehabilitated, you need to be euthanized. That's right. Okay, because look, if you had a, a, a rabbit, dog, whatever, or some type of rabbit animal yeah. around you, you can't do nothing uh, uh, with this thing. That's right. You can't save it. You can't use it. It's gotta go. It's destroyed inside out. Yeah. And that's what the Lord has has done. Set up Esau as a sword against. His people, man, purposely, man, so he can destroy us inside out, mentally and physically, man. Just a little bit more on this uh, Hosea uh, 4 1, 4 2 uh, reads By swearing and lying and killing and stealing, committing adultery, these are the very words that the brother just can't get out of love, right? Uh, uh, they break out and blood touches blood. Yeah, because hey, when, when you do all these things, it leads to all death, okay? Everything leads to death, you know, because look, the, the scriptures say what? That, uh, that the, the laws are the commandments of life. Okay, if you go outside of the commandments of life, now you're following the ways of death, That's right. destruction, corruption, right. all right? And you see it, man. Look, if you're committed adultery, eventually you're either going to get plagued with the STD. If that doesn't happen, then, hey, the man, all right, who's a, a, a woman you're committed adultery with, he's going to put your lights out and his woman's lights out okay all, all for that rage what does it say jealousy is the rage of a man you see all right hey, hey you, you 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 uh you get into witchcraft hey hey them spirits are gonna uh, plague your mind hey hey you, you may summon up something that will put you to fucking death man who knows i ain't into satanism so i ain't i ain't touching none of that bullshit. you know what i'm saying yeah but, but who knows what, what, what the Lord can summon up for you. You know what I'm saying? All right, hey, murder leads into uh, to, to more murders. Because look, if you actually murder somebody, right, that that person's family member has an actual 
right to put you to fucking death now. That's right. That's according to law, man. Right. You see? So all of these things uh, lead to bloodshed, man. All right? Shit, even going back to that witchcraft, what, what, what happens? They got to do sacrifices, you know? Putting your know, babies to death. You know what I'm saying? Woman to death. Another man to death, you know what I'm saying? Just to perform their ritual. Keep going, our, and this is what our people are into, rather than, than righteousness. So, hey, since, hey, as the scriptures say, all they that hate me, because if you don't follow the Lord, that means you really hate them. And then you do what? You love death. So you're going to get a death reward. That's it. Verse 3, uh, Hosea 4 3, it reads, Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. Yeah, and that's what we see right now. You go to any black or Hispanic community, Native American community, it is absolutely fucking through, man. That's it. And these are just that's facts. It's desolate. All right? It doesn't matter what part of you know good old usa you're in whether you're in south america the islands all right doesn't matter if you're in africa yeah. europe jake is in the worst case scenario that's right and that's a punishment from your how about you all shot right. good man i'm just thinking good. about over east um there's only one fucking grocery store over there on 83rd and um, um uh, what's that escanaba save a lot Okay, yeah, yeah. That's the only fucking restaurant. Ain't nothing in that nutrition. Yeah, I was just gonna say that too. In, yeah. in, in the grocery store that you do get, it's full of poison. Everything's GMO, all right? Let's say if you do try to buy some vegetables and stuff, all GMO'd out. Yeah. All the meat you are, are getting are, are um, basically old meat more than that. Yeah, like yeah, 100%. All right? 100%. They have a um, Salakia. They, they have a, uh, a lot of these businesses, and, and you know, all these heathens in particular are very, they're very, big on this practice, especially Ishmael and Elam, as far as bodegas and shit like that are concerned. But Esau as well in the major stores. When you're purchasing food, you know, they have certain places that you can go that purchase things that are near to expiration from major warehouses, and then they resell it to the grocery store. So a lot of these grocery stores or these corner stores, instead of going to the actual supplier, They'll go to this middleman who purchases the shit that's gonna expire in a month or in two weeks. So that they can get it at a discounted price, and then these motherfuckers leave it on the shelf until somebody buys it. Yep, exactly. In particular, with these fucking corner stores, it's, it, it's even worse. At least the grocery stores have more of a turnaround, you know? But they'll go, they'll purchase things that are old, that are near expiration so they can cut on cost, but they still charge you full price for it. Yep. Plus the, um, luxury tax of them being in your neighborhood and it being close to where you live at. Yeah, this was years ago. They, um, he did sit down on this, the elbow and all that. And you had these, uh, um, both, uh, um, there was this white woman, she did a study, all right, yeah. with uh, uh, the foods in, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Brooklyn? Uh, we, know, we know that's all Jake over there. Okay. Um, and they were saying that basically they were, they were, they were caught selling a bunch of radiated milk. Yep okay in these areas and it wasn't in manhattan all right it wasn't in you know staten island it's where jake is at brooklyn and in the bronx another thing they do in our neighborhoods also uh, gas stations a lot of people a lot a lot of our uh, uh, people are eating or grocery shopping at gas stations yeah, right. All right and you know this is where a gas station is it takes uh, 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 it was a million dollars just to excavate that land before you can put anything in yeah, they have and to, they Jake have to do is to because it, right? it's contaminated. Yeah. The land is contaminated. The soil is contaminated. Oh, so you can't. Yeah. yeah. So you you can't even put anything when you raise and grade a gas station. You have to excavate the land. Don't the, 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 take the tanks out of the ground. You got to take the dirt and move it away with new fresh dirt. Lately, but our people are eating out of fucking gas stations. Man. You know, it makes no sense. I mean, it makes they, all the sense in the world. This is why they, our people have the, the highest rates of all these cancers and, and, and diseases because of, you know, uh, what our, our people are, you know, eating, all right, you know, uh, what they're, you know, uh, drinking. Yeah, the location of where they live. Oh, man, the gas station on 107th and Halston, it's a new gas station. They just built it. And, like, the brothers going into, man, they shit in there with fucking Willy Wonka candy and, 
all type of M&Ms and, 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 and Gushers and flame and Hots and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing that's close to healthy is fucking seedless grapes on watermelon. That shit GMO. So, so yeah, they killing, they killing you people, man. Yeah. Can you uh, continue reading that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Verse, verse 3 again, uh, Hosea 4, 3 again. It reads, Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. With the beasts of the field, and with the fowls of the heaven, yeah, the fish of the sea also shall be um, shall be taken away. Um, verse 4 it reads, Yet let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priests. Yeah, that's what they do. You know, we come out here trying to, you know, educate them and inform them, yeah. okay, of what's going on. And they, 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 they we literally got into brawls with people, man. Yeah, yeah. Trying right? to do you a favor. And that's why, hey, we get in the spirit of a hey, fuck you niggers and spicks, bro. Hey. Hey, straight up, man. We don't give a fuck about y'all, man. Because really don't care about us. Hey, it's crazy. You'll have Esau, which is really our top enemy, treat us with more respect and honor than our own people. And they'll actually have, have dealings with us. That's why we, hey man, hey, for, for, for brothers out there, I'll, hey, I say this, hey, get, get the hell away from Jake as, as much as you can, man. All right? Get, get the fuck away from them. Go around the, the, the right folks, the white folks, as, as I like to say, man. Yeah, All right? You know, it is fucked up that we gotta say it like that, you know what I mean? Niggas. But it's the truth though, bro. Niggas is really, I'm gonna just say it, man. Niggas is bitches. All right, these, these niggas, they very emotional and yeah, they, 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 they get into it with you so quick. They so they think so irrationally, man. And Wait, so um, on. not logically. The shit, they don't use logical common sense, man. It's just emotions, that's all it is. And, 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 and if you can't control your emotions, you're a damn beast, that's all you are. That's it. All right. Now, there's nothing wrong with having emotions, but if, if you if you can't control it and think logically, no, nah, bro, you're a, a damn animal. Actually, worse because an animal, all right, is, is following his program. Really, you Jakes aren't following your program. You're going outside of it, and this is why all these negative things keep happening in your life. That's right. But the thing is, you don't want to hear the reproof or the rebuke, all right, from the men of the Lord, the correction at the end of the day. You know, you you keep rejecting that. And this is why. You, you have terrible credit scores. This is why you have no businesses. This is why you, you your life is in shambles, man. Right. All right? right. But, uh, keep reading this a little bit more. Read the six. And then get whatever you got. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> keep, you know, read five and six. Okay. Hosea 4 and 5 reads, Therefore shall thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. Let's keep going. Verse 6, it reads, my people are destroyed from the lack of knowledge yep. because they have rejected the knowledge, rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. Yep, exactly. You know, and that's what we see, man. Since our people lack knowledge and they reject it, the Lord, the Lord is uh, uh, making them all rejects. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, look at Jake, bro. Jake is strong. Jake is the, is, has surpassed the number one drug addict Esau. That's right. These guys are all, I don't even know what those things are, whipping, whipping with food? Oh, the, you're talking the about the yeah, yeah, nitrous oxide. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Things called whipping, if I'm not mistaken, if I can remember that term. Yeah. All right, and they, they basically you're just, and it's funny because back in the world, I was around all these, you know, partiers and, and, and dope, you know, dope dealers and, yeah. and dope fiends, so to speak, right? You know what I'm saying? And that was a party drug, man, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they used to have the balloon parties. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, bro. I remember that. You know what I mean? Hey, and back in the day, hey, the people who were really using that shit were really, um, you know, the, the, the heathens, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Jake, yeah. you might, might, you know, they might take a hit or two, whatever, fall back, whatever, you know, they, they didn't get real, you know, into it. Now all you see is uh, all these fucking modern day, you know, Jake's, bro, the, these fucking GMO babies, 2000 babies, right? They're, they're the ones who are most into it, man. Yeah. All right? Yeah. They're, and they're talking about how the thug is thug with the fucking shites behind, but can't even fucking stand up. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Me and Jake was talking about it the other day, me and the brother Murph. You know, back in the day, niggas, niggas just, you know, niggas that smoke weed and if a nigga was really wild, you know, he'll do a bump or do some coke or something. And then, you know, of course, the older Jakes in the 70s was dealing with the heroin, but 
You know, that's about as far as it went, man. Now you jakes, it's nothing off limits. Once they drop that ecstasy in the hood, niggas start taking yeah. whatever. Yeah, that, that Little Wayne demon. Cause that's who really like made that shit popular. Little Wayne through Six Mafia, all that yeah, shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once they, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Once they started nigga, pushing that shit, boom, it was a wrap. That yeah. nigga's dan, that nigga's dan all over America, off of um, um, overdosing off of um, Cody, uh, the, the, um, yeah, yeah, the, the yeah, lean yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Nigga drinking, but yeah. just a few, 10, 15, 20 years ago, everybody was sipping off the scissor. Yep. And now everybody dan off of that shit. They don't even have the genuine Fredo, Fredo Santana. Yeah, Fredo Santana. I got a um, picture right there. Here, bring it up. Hey, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 9 and verse 4. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. As for him that wants of understanding, she said to him, Come eat of my bread and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding. So, you know, this right here is where it's at, man. The, the scriptures say that oh, man that wonder if that is the um, way of understanding should remain in the congregation of the dead. That's All right. Really yep. That's right. So, so, like, this is where it's at, man. Like, these niggas is, is, is jumping up in bed. That's for death, That's why we don't care about Jake. I, I mean, you know, you have your moments where you're like, damn, Jake's in a fucked up predicament, but then you gotta uh, uh, put it in your mind that, look, this is what Jake wanted. Yeah. This is really what they want, man. Yeah. They, they want all this shit. That's yeah. why I don't feel bad for them when, when, when Esau, you know, blasts, you know, somebody in the crib, very some cop, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Goes yeah. to somebody's yeah. crib, but I yeah. forgot that, that chick's name yeah. in fucking yeah. yeah. Springfield. I, I never learned her name, fucker. <laughs> all right, but she's black. That's all I yeah. know. <laughs> That's all I need to know. You know, she got blasted, all right? You know, inside her crib. You see all these, you know, Mexicans, Guatemalans, Venezuelans getting fucking caught up in the border, they dying and shit. Them, they you know what I'm saying? Good, bro. Like, cool. Uh, this is what you wanted. Like the brother said, hey, you, you all believe in JC, white Jesus. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That that's your savior. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hey, let, let him save you, all right? You know, from, 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 from dying in the desert, bro. Jakes are stupid, man. And it's to the point now, like the older brother said, where these new, these new age uh, blacks, like I like to call them, they, 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 they just do things for the sake of stupidity. For example, that uh, nitrous oxide shit that, the, you know, where they either use the can or the balloon or whatever, the, the, that shit doesn't even actually get you high. The sensation that these dudes feel is their fucking brain cells frying. Yep. When you fucking breathe, when you breathe in air that's not oxygen, then you hold your breath and keep that in your lungs. All of that stuff goes straight to your brain, man. And, and poisons your brain and, and destroys you. But you Jake's think it's cool because some monkey got on TV and did it. And that Jake Stevo, I think Stevo and Jake's lucky if Jake don't, you know, believe that or not. Whatever. That nigga Steve O from Animal, the Wild Boys, what they call Wild Boys, the Jackass, that nigga was a heavy addict on that shit. And he goes into it all the time, how he almost fucking killed himself. He'll just fucking lock himself in a room and have demons on him. And he'll just be dealing with that shit. And if the demon is still on him so strong that he can't even get fucking whipped, nothing, he can't deal with no aerosol cans. Cause the demon will jump back on him, he don't wanna get high. He can't get, when he go to get a Starbucks, they no whipped cream for him, man. Cause the spray got that shit in it. Nope. My bad, you're done. No, no that's shit. serious though, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you hear about that shit, that ain't no fucking joke. All right, but see, Jake is always so in the moment, in the moment, in the moment. But, but, but hey, see, in order to have wisdom, you gotta have that prudence, man. But if you can get that, that where it's uh, prudence and wisdom, uh, mention the book. It's like that Proverbs. All right, but in order to have prudence, which is meaning to have a foresight. You have to have true wisdom, and if you have wisdom, that means you're not gonna wanna uh, uh, basically die, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna avoid death as much as you can. Things that, that bring you down. See, all our people, you know, they, they encourage stupidity, man. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's got any bit of an intelligence on them, that they get made fun of. You know what I'm saying? They they they, they get you know shit talk to them. Yeah. Come on, man. No, you so, uh, this, this, uh, this donation is free. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> you know what, man? <laughs> I got that problem. You got some questions. What you got to do, huh? God. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 8 and verse 12. 
I wisdom dwell with prudence mm. and find out knowledge of witty invention. Yeah, so I wisdom dwell with prudence. And like I, I said, that prudence goes into a foresight. If you have foresight, look, if you know there's a shooting down the street, right? Yeah. That's up ahead. Uh, you know what? I, since I know that's down the street, right. let me just take a left yeah. Yeah. and avoid all of that. You know what I'm saying? Take the long way around real quick. Exactly. Let me just take the long way. Well, see, that's the problem with Jake. They don't want to deal with with, with, with the, uh, uh, the um, they don't want to deal with having patience. Yeah. They don't want to have to, they don't want to endure things. They have their spirit of Esau on them now. That's right. They, they, they're a whole uh, microwave generation. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's got to be quickly given to them. That's why you know Jake is into a, heavily into what fast food. Yeah. Yeah. They're the main consumers of what fast food. Yeah. When okay. you go to Esau's neighborhood, then, then this brother goes into those type of things a lot. You know where. You know, you, there's just a difference between Esau's environment and Jake's yeah. environment, like he's been saying. You go to Esau's neighborhood, man, these Edomites don't play that shit. You're not going to see no McDonald's over there. You're not going to see no Burger Kings and Taco Bells. Nope. Esau don't keep that shit close to where they live at, man. Now, of course, you go to the shopping center or whatever, they'll have that there because that's just the nature of America. But yeah. you go to these Jake neighborhoods, it's fucking McDonald's on regular yeah. street yeah. corners, yeah. man. Yeah. Where I used to live at, in uh, the Humble Park neighborhood in Chicago, they got a fucking McDonald's, a Burger King. All of these are in residential areas, man. Exactly. And he can walk out the door from his house, walk two blocks, and, and, and he had McDonald's. Man. If you Why? find, if you find a McDonald's or anything like that, you said Taco Bell, yeah. it's gonna be right off from the expressway for you. So, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's not gonna be down, you know, a mile down. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna see that. It li it's literally like if you go up like, you know, by uh, Northbrook, all the areas like that. Yeah. It it's literally right off the expressway. And that's it. Yeah. And, and if you do see any restaurants in more of like the, the residential area, it's going to be like actual sit downs where you're getting a steak, yeah. you know, vegetables. Yeah. All right. You know, you're getting pasta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're actually getting real cooked food. So again, right. Not no goddamn no. fucking. You know, people patty some some pink slime. <laughs> hey, all right, from uh, Mickey D's. Oh, they got God. in the hood in the hood in New York. They call them bodegas, and in the hood in Chicago, we call them corner stores. And and what do they fill niggas with? Motherfucking um Doritos and flaming hot and cheese and meat and shit. And, um, chop chop. What they call it? Chop cheese. Yeah. And they New got York that. And shit. They got that motherfucking uh, that, that I call them the corner store Italian beef. <laughs> These niggas letting Ishmael cook Italian beef for them. Look, man, it, it, let me say this real quick. If you ain't good, look, bro, if that motherfucker ain't Johnny. Italian, bro, to Johnny, all right, nigga. if you ain't Italian, bro, man, don't get an Italian beef from somebody else. That shit's so good. That shit wicked, bro. I ain't trusting no Ishmaelite <laughs> making me an Italian beef, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Nigga got the When was the last time you washed any of this Would you like a gym <laughs> Look, exactly. Hey, but, no, the brother made a point real quick. Cause in Chicago, man, they, they, there's a, it's a special kind of demon out here. Like, <laughs> you really gotta be in Chicago to understand it, bro. They, like the brother mentioned, this thing called the gym shoot, right? Which is, hey, none of you guys know about this shit unless you're here. Straight bro, it, It's like what is it? Five, it, six different it, beefs. Um, crazy got shit. The gym shoot with corn beef, roast beef, and garro meat. But then they got the pack shoe with you add chicken and steak. This shit it's wicked, bro. Five, 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 eight, eight. five pounds of meat. No homo. Yeah, bullshit, bro. All yeah. grease. Yeah. That nasty pro, uh, uh, processed cheese. Oh, oh, oh no, for, don't forget on, the bro. seafood boils on the link. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's they let you take the link card. You're going to buy a whole big ass pan of fucking up, 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 up off of abominable things up, yeah. up, up, oh. in your vessel. God. You got that shit off the link card. This is why Jake is so messed up. Yeah. But see, it's all systematically designed, all right? Yeah, Esau right. purposely puts this in, in Jake areas. Fucking, you know, the heathens capitalize on owning the, the you know, the places. Yeah. You know? It's like the, the, the story of the rich man and Lazarus. That's it. That's yeah, the exactly. rich man, all right, getting all their money. All right, and then you had what? The, the dogs and the, the, you know, you know, licked up the sores and the dogs represent the heathens. And they're licking our wounds. We've already been fucked up for me. You know what I'm saying? And these guys, they, like I said, they benefit off of being in our areas. Look, no Mo Moabite is going to be opening up a store, okay, in Esau's area, unless it's two things. A, 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 a very clean Chinese store or some nail shop, right? That's it. But they're not going to open anything else up. They'll open up a bunch of shit in Jake's area. You know what I'm saying? Everything, everything in our neighborhood, man, uh, it's like brothers going into it, man. You got on every fucking corner. 
any J neighborhood, every freaking corner, man. You got a fucking get, you got a fucking church, you got churches, the church, you got fucking That's liquor right. stores, you got no nutritional stores as far as eating like we're going into. Those go pe bodegas and you got those fucking gas stations on Jake yeah. shops and eats out of the gas station day and night, man. Huh? Out of the gas station, right? And 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 you, you got the uh, uh brother just mentioned, I just, just slipped my mind. But everything the whole death style corner delivers in our right in our in our neighborhood. The death style is in our neighborhood. This this guy does this purposely, man. Aims at Jake. We're oh the other one is Planned Parenthood. Any kind of Ooh. way you can get your uh, you can get your you can get your uh, uh get that damn nigga baby killed, you know, before he even get here. Kill that baby before he even get here. And then Esau said, forget it. You didn't kill him fast enough. Go ahead, have him. I still kill him after when he get here. Yeah. He still won't kill him. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, they, they're both. Herod went after the babies. Uh -huh. uh, 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 who's the other one? Uh, 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 they went after the babies. Uh, uh, Pharaoh. They, they yeah, Pharaoh. Right. Yeah. Pharaoh went after the babies, man. They do the same thing right now. They going after your babies, man. Yeah, everything's a war on the, uh, uh, the Israel, Israelite male. All right, starting with the tribe of Judah. All right, down to the other tribes you don't eat from, Ted, etc. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And they, everything is, is uh, uh, against you. You don't, you, you, you take males. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stat. Yeah. Stat. You know, and that's why hey, you got to return unto the Lord because this is this is a no joke, man. All right, this is no joke. Right. What, what we're dealing with, we need divine intervention to help us out of this situation that we're in. And that, that's Still go get the gym shoe, all right? <laughs> it's, it's super shoe. It's called the super shoes. shoe. Yeah, this shit wicked, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you, you know, you, we can still, you know, I'm just joking. But you know, real talk, you can still go to the, you know, grocery store. Yeah. All right, you can go. You know, if you do need to get grab a quick snack, you can go to, you know, the gas station, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Lights are still on. Lights are still on. Gas is still on. You know what I mean? What's gonna happen when all these things, you know, um, are uh, uh, stripped from you? And see, these people. They're not ready for it. They're so addicted to, uh, to to social media, all right? All these, you know, different type of uh, prescription drugs. Convenience. You know? Hey, I call the brothers that convenience, all their fast food. Some people don't even have food in their goddamn fridge. They got, hey, they're, they're, they're refrigerators, McDonald's, man. Yeah, I eat, out, like the, I eat out every day. You know? Yeah. I knew, I, dude, I knew a dude like that, real talk. Hey, the brother Mataz, I know him too. This dude that we, we do in the world together. Dude, literally ate up every fucking day, bro. Shit was wild as fuck, man. We were like, what is wrong with him, man? Right, he looked real bad. Right. No, he was, he was funny, he was thin, but he was still like malnourished and inside. shit, you know? Inside. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the the nigga scared him probably. That didn't even show up. You know? The nigga scared him. You know, so. Okay, so. Hey, um, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 64, and verse 1. It says, Hear my voice, O power, and my prayer preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Yeah, because Esau, he don't, and these heathen nations, they got all type of diabolical plans in place set up for your demise. So, like the brother said, you're going to need divine intervention to, to be preserved and um, to make it through this present evil world. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword. Yeah, and that word wet's not talking about like, you know, like a, a moisture. Like wet, sharp. wet, yeah, wet goes into sharpening, like, you know, yeah, when you yeah. uh, got the eyes. Wet stone. Yeah. Huh? Psh, 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 you know, sharpening it up. And the, and the scriptures say that the, um, that a sword is furbished mm. and is uh, 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 ready to be used yeah. in the book of Ezekiel, man. That's it. And the Lord, and I'll say this: the Lord is is prepping up Esau to to put judgment on, on this world. He he's the vessel, the instrument, all right, that's being used to to to, to, to uh, execute his judgment, his vengeance on you. And then it really, your house is gonna come back, all right, to put the cherry on top, so to speak. You know, once he comes, in, it's all right because then Esau is gonna get his judgment. You know, so it, man, it, it's heavy, bro telling you and i'll say this man the reason why i bring that out because you got a lot of these guys man these other israelite camps saying that esau's a bitch and this that and the third which yeah that is a true statement but you got to remember this guy is no joke man this is the lord's left-handed side 
Yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't go, you can't go fishing and throw out Leviathan. So, so you know, you niggas can't fuck with the so-called white man, man. Exactly. He's the Lord's whooping stick. You no, know, and, and, and Jay got did, did, for some reason that'd be irking me when you hear these other camps like, no, nah, Esau is not a bitch, bro. Yeah. This dude is gonna fuck you people up. Yeah. And, and, and if you don't have hey, the Lord's covering, That's right. you're through. That's right. That's right. And a lot of these, a lot of these people that call themselves Israelites are gonna realize that the Lord's really not dealing with them. And it's gonna be a rude awakening when this shit really hit, hits the fan, man. Yep. That's saw one of these clowns, bro. On a, one of them, uh, you know, uh, electric scooters mm -hmm. over there by Exchange at like 71st. Uh -huh. You know, by the, you know, by the, the um, Yeah, by the um, culture center. Yeah, by the culture center. Yeah. Did, did, did this fucking, uh, um, real quick though, um, this guy, you know, I'm uh, looking at him like, this dude's a fuck out, what the hell's wrong with him? Of course, guy got dreads and long hair. What does he have on, guys? Fucking t-shirt and some fringes, man. Smoke dog. <laughs> He won't know the smoke. He ran to this. Come on, man. That's that. That's that. That's that nigger starter kid. You got the black G, the, the black G phase on. Yep. You got the shirt, black shirt with the fridges. The yep. bad, the black Michael Jordan basketball shorts. Yep. And the Glock with the switch on it, man. Yep. That's the Sakari starter kit. Hey, Jay, you like that? Shit's wild as fuck, man. Lord ain't dealing with you, man. He like. Doing it. Exactly, hey, because hey, to me, look, if you guys want to be an easy target, go right ahead when that day comes. You know, because hey, look, you know what's crazy? Cause we all, I'll say this, we always got our spiritual garment on. Right. You know, but, hey, but these physical garments, we take them off when it's time to close up. What's so funny is you'll you'll get into people, you know, uh, you'll get, uh, get into it with people on the line. The same day you'll bump into them when you right. don't have your, your Garmin, they won't even recognize you, bro. That's right. That's right. Now, I'm glad you say you use that analogy because here it is. Um, you will have, you will have, you will be on the line. The people with the t-shirts, they'll be on the line. I saw this one camp. They was in New Orleans, man. T-shirt camp. They beat a nigga. They beat an Edomite nigga over the head with a step. He was that day. Now, first of all, why the fuck is y'all? That little strip, Mardi Gras in New Orleans yeah. with the bitches. Oh, they, they, they was out like niggas is, party. The niggas yeah. is right there having camp. Why the people is niggering around having a party? Right. Yeah, so yeah. the white dude, drunk, eat them white dude, drunk. They get to, he getting too close. They hit him in the head with the stick. But so now this same group of men, they finna go out on a night on the town and have a dinner at the restaurant. Yeah. Well, hey, one of those eat them whites might see like, damn, that's that racist group of, of people yeah. that was beating that man. Now the waitress finna drop something in your motherfucking drink. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling. They finna smack your food on the floor and smoke it up. Blast you with their fucking guns. Their that's sword. it's not. That's Shit. not fucking wise. You had you had them Jakes when the uh, when all of Edomites stormed the Capitol. Jake was out there fucking holding camp in front of the damn Capitol building while oh, these yeah, niggas yeah, riot. Oh yeah, Chief Ephraim. Chief Ephraim. Hey, no, that's who I was talking about. Yeah, it was Chief Ephraim yeah, them who hit Buddy corn in the head with the stick. A bunch of cornballs. <laughs> that dude's another cornball, bro. Reminds me of a Sakari, but old. Yeah. He's just um, a silly, just eat from, just, a silly dog. Just he silly, said, bro. He say that. He say, he say it's your boy, the silly dog. Just a cornball, bro. Yeah, fuck, you can't people. stand that spirit, man. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but uh, uh, let's get these like last three, seven, three, two, one. wrapped up because Yak wants us to be back. Um, you know what? I had uh, he, he going into the uh, how they, you know, uh, Esau's after the flood of the uh, Israelites. Boys, right? Men, right? I grabbed this uh, Ezekiel 35 5 plus, and it reads uh, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. Again, yeah, the brothers going into Esau is like the, the Lord's sword, man. Was that uh, Psalm 17 chapter? Yep. It says, um, <clears throat> by the force of the sword, in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end, yep. right? Those that held them. Uh, those that oppressed them refused to, uh, 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 those that oppressed them, was that, uh, 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 Jeremiah 51 and 33, something yeah, like yeah, that, uh, let, them go. let them go. You know, those that oppressed them, who? The, North, the, the, the northern and the southern people are basically here right now in America, the majority of the Israelites, right? <clears throat> By the force of the sword, the time of their calamity, and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, Hashem Yashah, I will prepare he unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Talk about Esau. That's right. That's, all these things are coming upon your own head in the near future. But uh, any last precepts? Uh, uh, Is there any more of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, okay. and blood shall pursue thee Ooh. since thou 
since thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Mm -hmm. I like to always bring out this damn devil uh, uh, went after that uh, pot, that meat, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day when uh, 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 Jacob, uh, our forefather, uh, uh, supplanted him, yep. right? And he went after that bloody fool, man. Oh, yeah. All right? He eats it that way to this day. To this day. Bloody fool. He loves blood. All right. right. He loves bloodshed. He loves blood in his uh, food. Yeah. He was a goddamn demon, man. Yeah. You know? That's, that's going off from the law. That, 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 he's yeah. wicked, bro. All right, man, you know. Rare. Yeah, rare. Just but, uh, seared, just seared. Yeah, most. Well, you know, with that, hey, we're going to end this lesson. We're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Rakhwadash. Also, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and Baba Ba. Shalom. 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 Shalom.